Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube content. I'm Sam Kim. In this video, I would like to talk about odds ratio versus relative risk. Odds can be calculated by probability over 1 minus probability. And we typically use 2 by 2 continuous table to understand odds ratio and relative risk. And odds ratio, as you can see, can be calculated by A over V divided by C over D, and which means A times D over B times C. And relative risk can be calculated by A over A plus B divided by C over C plus D. And if there's no association, odds ratio and relative risk are very close to one. In our program, uh, you can calculate odds ratio and relative risk from uh, descriptive tools with this library. And also you can convert odds ratio to relative risk by using this function. And uh, one thing you need to be careful is to specify uh, uh, base probability in the second row, this one. And once you get odds ratio and relative risk, you can interpret this uh, value like this, right? And uh, Chang and you proposed a simple formula to convert odds ratio to, uh, into relative risk, right? Right, and I asked to chat GPT uh, when we can use odds ratio and relative uh, risk for uh, study type. So as you can see, uh, relative risk uh, is a measure uh, commonly used in cohort studies to quantify the strengths of association between a risk factor and an outcome. And there are four reasons why we cannot use uh, relative risk for case study, uh, case control studies. So the first reason is sampling bias, and the second reason is outcome, outcome prevalence, and the third reason is overestimation of uh, relative risk, and the last reason is logical challenges. Right? In summary, you can use odds ratio for cohort study or case control studies. However, uh, you can use relative risk for only cohort study. Right? So uh, finally, uh, Let's uh, try to calculate odds ratio and relative risk in Excel. This is our output, right? So by using this two by two continuous table, you can we can make this uh, this type of uh, data frame. Then uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to, uh, how to calculate odds ratio uh, by various ways, right? So in this video, let me show you again. So when, once you get this uh, two by two continuous table, log frequency, log of frequency can be calculated by log of frequency, and probability can be calculated by frequency over sum of total frequency. Okay, then log of probability again. You can use rn function. Uh, uh, row marginal probability can be, calculated by, can be calculated by frequency over some if range from column F, criteria from column F, and some range from column H. And column marginal probability can be calculated by frequency over some if range from column G. criteria from column G and some range from column H and we can calculate odds ratio uh, by using frequency data so 31 over 100, 109 over 17 over 122 or we can use a uh, row frequency this one minus and minus this one and plus the last cell or we can use log probability minus second row minus third row plus the last row okay and from row marginal probability one over this one and divide by third row over the last row. 
okay and from column marginal probability the last cell right then uh, we can convert this odds ratio to relative risk so p0 can be calculated by uh, 17 over this one 139 then uh, relative risk can be calculated by odds ratio divided by 1 minus p0 plus p0 times odds ratio right we can also directly uh, calculate relative risk from this frequency table so 31 and uh, the first uh, row uh, uh, sum of first row right this one and 17 and second row uh, sum of second row this one right then row frequency can be calculated by this one and row probability can be calculated by log of frequency divided by sum of total frequency this one arrow sum if range criteria and some range and column for in terms of column frequency divided by sum if range comma criteria comma uh, frequency then relative risk from frequency 31 over 140 divided by 17 over 139 and uh, from row, row frequency minus this one and minus third row and plus the last row from row probability again exponential of minus minus and plus okay and from row uh, data low, ma uh, low kind of uh, marginal probability mm, we can use this formula and divide by so the row uh, over the last row and finally uh, let's use column uh, marginal kind of marginal probability this one and over this one and divide by one over this one. right so again uh, I hope it was useful this video was useful to understand how to calculate odds ratio and relative risk right and also uh, if uh, in our uh, our function our library once you activate uh, descript tools you can use odds ratio relative risk and also to relative risk function to calculate odds ratio relative risk and convert odds ratio to relative risk. I hope this video was useful to understand how to calculate odds ratio and relative risk. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.